Now this is a review you guys have been waiting for. In my Netflix viewing, I noticed they added Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2014 film, produced by Michael Bay, so please don't blame him for everything. Directed by Jonathan Liebsman, the hack who used to date Taryn Southern. So, um, what did I think of the movie? It wasn't as bad as I expected. You know, maybe I give Hollywood too much credit, expecting everything to be bad, and then when it turns out okay, I'm kind of surprised, relieved. So here's what we got. Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles origin stories retold. April O'Neil is directly involved with that, something I don't care for. Her dad was working on turtles and the rat splinter in a lab, lab catches fire. She had named the turtles after Renaissance painters. And then what'd she do? Just say, um, I couldn't come up with a name for the rats of Splinter? No, they never touch on that. It could have been funny. A little bit of lampshade hanging, but no, they didn't. What really pisses me off about this origin is not that it's different than anything. It's that her idea of rescuing the turtles was, okay, you're, there's a fire in the lab. Quick, everybody, get into the shoebox. All right, I rescued you, dumping you down the sewer. That's not how you rescue a puppy. Oh, the building's on fire, quick. I'll put the puppy in my shoebox and throw it down a sewer. Yeah, I rescued it. I'm afraid that's not how that works, bitch. That was really my gripe there. So then, Splinter mutates, the turtles mutate some, but they're like babies, and he's like changing turtle diapers. But wait. He's not a ninja master by any means. He just finds a ninjutsu book and teaches them the martial arts. Whatever the hell. Yeah, I would have been more impressed if he got linked to a YouTube channel, honestly. I think that would have made it more contemporary. It would have been a funnier origin for that too. Personally, I like the idea of, and I'm not sure if this is the way it was in comics, I believe it was, but in the 1990 live action film, Splinter was an actual rat. His master was killed by the Shredder, but he attacked Shredder. Shredder sliced his ear. I don't know how you miss a whole rat and only get the ear with a sword. But uh, he goes away, gets into a sewer, mutant gin gets on him and some turtles. There you go. I thought that origin made some more sense than little girl rescues animals by dumping them down sewer. The action gets on. We have Megan Fox's April O'Neil, and it's hard to think of her as April O'Neil because she has no range of any kind. Like, I could tolerate her in other movies, but where she's supposed to be a competent reporter and comes across as some hack with a YouTube channel, you know, it's a bit of a problem. So, she's investigating this, uh, these robberies, this Foot Clan. They're named the Foot Clan only because they stomp on everything. I, I think that's what it was getting to. So the turtles show up, bite the foot a little bit. She sees them, gets them on video. Uh, they erase that, whatever. Nobody believes her, she kind of gets fired. But Vern, character, I'm not sure if he's in the comics, but he's in the cartoon series, helps her out some because he wants to get some, even though he's you know easily 10 years older than her, if not 15. Uh, anyhow, uh, she finds out that her dad's old boss is behind all of this. Uh, he's kind of running the crime organization for his mentor figure, the Shredder. And it seems like the Shredder's kind of brought in, like, you guys were pissed that the Shredder wasn't here? Okay, fine. He's actually the boss. But he has so little to do, and he's, he kind of has the role of the dragon, like, the, the number one goon, not the top dog. So, this goes down, but... The Shredder has like this ridiculous costume. It has hammer space for knives. Knives are coming out of his arm where arms should be. It's like when Bugs Bunny turns around, all of a sudden he's got a hammer to hit somebody. Yeah, I didn't care for the costume. The CGI of the turtles looks not so good, but Splinter looks worse. I like Tony Shalhoub, but this is the wrong role for him as Splinter. He doesn't even try to be Japanese. I, I mean, he, I guess he's not Japanese, but he sure tries to dress like it. I mean, whatever. But the thing about the turtles is, I like the fact that they have a distinct look. I can tell who I'm looking at at any given time. 
the movie is not as good as the 1990 TMNT. It isn't. That's one of the more faithful comic book adaptations. And I probably got stuff coming out my nose. But I'm not going to edit this. But the thing is that it has better action, guys. The turtles use their weapons whenever the hell they want. There's over the top today CGI action. Uh, sledding down a hill at a speed of a Hummer is a bit ridiculous when they don't have a rocket strapped to their shells. But at least it's something to be exciting. You know, it is over the top. And to give Michael Bay some credit, you know he's not going to do it cheap. This doesn't look like a cheap movie. This doesn't really look like a cash grab. You know, this was another effort to reinvigorate the Turtles. And this one seems to have stuck. It made a lot of money. They got a sequel coming out. I mean, it's really not as bad as people say it is. I give uh, TMNT 2014 two out of four stars.